Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to a, another episode. We are back here again in Ark Survival Evolved and we are going on with the breeding for mutations. I'm currently working on the damage mutations as I was showing you there. So I am currently on the second mutation in damage. I have got the first mutation in health so that is a bit of a good start there. Now, whilst I'm waiting for my Rexes to lay eggs and do stuff, well, predominantly lay eggs, really, um, it takes quite a bit of time. So what I've been doing is I've been busy with my base, just kind of upgrading it and making certain modifications and finishing certain parts of it. So let me just get this right here, because this is the next of the damage mutation I am currently on the second damage mutation so I still have 18 more to go before I get there it's gonna take a long 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 time uh, but I'm pretty pleased with this now that does mean I've got a bunch of eggs that I need to get rid of so that is where we started more or less uh, I do wonder how far I'm going to get with it, so just double checking to make sure that we haven't got an extra mutation that we don't need. Uh, with that said, I have a feeling that I'm going to start running out of space. If you think about it, I'll need 20 damage mutations, 20 health mutation rexes, and then another 20 to fight the bosses. So I don't think that the base that I've got here is big enough. I might potentially have to look at... Um, possibly using mods so the cryo fridges would have been quite useful with that said it's time to eat these eggs because i don't have any use for them anymore and i need to get rid of all the other baby rexes i might potentially actually save up some of these to be fairly honest let me just get rid of the meat here yeah so that is one of the plans now for this episode i've got a couple of things planned first things first i want to kind of clear up the base here get rid of what i don't need and I think what I'm going to be doing is eventually I'm going to basically try and get an army of 20 Rexes, potentially, uh, let's call them first gen battle Rexes, which I might potentially use for the, uh, I'm thinking Gamma bosses, or maybe one of the Gamma bosses, just to kind of play around, just to keep myself entertained but the sad thing is i need to be around the base for the rexes to lay eggs consistently um i've got this right here these guys have just been nice and tidy and uh yeah we're just waiting on these guys i have recently leveled some of them up so that's why they look a bit damaged uh but uh yeah we've got some rexes here uh i guess these would be the first gen oh they're, they've eaten everything <laughs> so this is the problem i'm running out of space and uh yeah, it's taken a long time to do all this. They're all imprinted and stuff over there, so that has taken quite a while. So, I guess there'll, there'll be a first-gen type of army. Well, well, basically, I'm planning on going and doing the Broodmother. That's why I've got my eyes set on, so I'll move these guys here. I do want to keep my uh, breeding line kind of separate uh, or back up just in case something does go wrong. So, I normally tend to have... Um, all of the mutations as I get to the 20th mutation and whatever mutation I'm working as far as stats goes. So obviously you saw what I was working on. I'm going to show you what's happened with the base because there's been quite a significant update to the base. It is still a work in progress and as I said um, one of the issues I'm having is I can't really go too far away because otherwise that it seems to affect the rate at which my rex is breed so let me show you exactly what is going on um let me go down here and i'll get on my rhino nathia at the moment we've got this one right there so third mutation that's pretty neat looking good looking good i'm happy with that but let me go and get my rhino nathia as you can see i'm starting to run out of space that is something i wanted to show you yeah, it's getting a bit crowded, and it's going to get even more crowded as I start saving color mutations. And this is where I'm at right now. It's looking good. I don't really fancy the purple color. They've got food right here. All right, there we go. So this is what we're looking at. I mean, there's nothing really special about these, apart from the fact that they have had some level ups. So we're doing 25,000 HP and then going on to whatever else we can put in damage. So hopefully that will be helpful to me. So I'll crack on with this and then I'll show you 
what I've been up to with regards to the base. Okay, let me show you the base once I get out of here. There we go. Give you a bit of a showdown. And... It's always a bit of a challenge trying to close this off of the Rhino Nathia. But as you can see, I've got walls going up. So basically, I'm trying to keep in line with the castle theme. This is what I've been working on just so I can stay around the base whilst I'm doing all the breeding. Now, it is still a work in progress. I've basically managed to do all this. Um, as I, I, I want to kind of build like a like a rampart type of thing, the rampart type of wall. Um, obviously, I don't really know. I mean, we still have the Rhino Nathias there, but it's starting to look better, and we're going to have towers all around and stuff. But so far, it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with everything still a lot of work to be done with it now with that said that's pretty much it for the base i have oh actually i want to show you this right here this is another thing i want to show you so obviously to stay around within render distance of my creatures just encourage them to breed and lay eggs for me this is what i've started working on so this will be the water pen right here where i'm going to store water dinos and maybe do a bit of breeding with those i still have to build the um facility like a little enclosed facility which is what i'm planning on doing right under where i'm basically flying you can see some foundations in the water there but yeah this is kind of what i've also been working on there are a few gaps in the walls it's not yet finished still plenty of work to do and uh yeah so that's pretty much it now i'm gonna go and get me some dimorphodons i need to have a pair i'll be breeding the dimorph then i'll be leveling them up and then my plan is to go and do a cave and uh, i want to do a cave with the dimorphs as well as with the baryonyx actually i'm going to do a couple of caves i might break it down into a couple of episodes uh we'll do a cave per episode and uh, i'll probably double it as a how to get the artifact as well but this is what the castle looks like it is looking pretty darn good if i do say so myself all right i've got this right here oh okay got a wrap oh got two raptors um that is not good let me get rid of these guys. We don't want them complicating my life. That's a level 90 raptor. Right, what? okay. Is that my dimorph? Okay. I keep pressing the wrong things. <laughs> I think it is. So I'm just going to chance it. Can I get it? Oh, really? Come on. Okay, this is a bit more challenging than I thought. I'm going to have to bowl it. And here's the hoping that I... D oh, seriously. Here's the hoping I don't really get surprised by anything. Whilst I'm trying to focus on the silly thing. <laughs> come on. Come on. Now, Dimorphs are actually quite powerful and very useful in most caves. Okay, we kind of caught it over the water, but that's fine. It'll break the bowler eventually. I keep getting the wrong thing out. <laughs> okay, we're being attacked by its friends, and that's going to hurt quite a bit. Um, right, just run this way. Oh no, Alpha Raptor. Boy, this is bad. Go on, get in, get in, get in. <laughs> right, let's deal with... I like how quickly the Dimorph lost interest in me. Everything just spawned in, or this is just nuts. Okay, right. Which one's which? Uh, that is a level 40. We got this raptor right here that is going to cause me some problems. Alright. I think I've cleared everything. <laughs> Alright, is that Dimorph still alive is the question. Where is the... We're going to use raw prime meat here on it. Oh, it's underwater. Can I get it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, oxygen. Okay, it's not doing too too good. But luckily, it should tame right quick anyways. There we go. <laughs> it was just, yeah, making sure we get this. Okay, where is it? Okay, there it is. Right, so this should be one of my dimorphs. Time to go and do some breeding. 
Come on. There we go. Gotcha. Let's go and breathe them up. Okay, got a couple of eggs here. Uh, I'm going to get a few more eggs. I've got these guys uh, to breed on repeat. And uh, I'm looking at probably trying to hatch about 20 of these. And obviously I'm going to keep the base breeding pair. I don't know what's going on with that guy. <laughs> uh, I think that guy is probably a goner unless he comes back down because I can't feed him. Um, so obviously these things will need food right quick. I have to give you some meat. All right. So these guys should grow fairly quick, and once they've been fully matured and imprinted on and whatnot, um, I'll take them into the cave with us, and we'll go and get some artifacts. It is possible that I might lose a couple on the way. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I have, as I said, got a base breeding pair, and I can always breed up some more. As you can see, I've got a couple of eggs in my inventory. I'm going to hatch those as well. So um, I plan on doing three caves back to back. I'm going to do them, um, I suppose, as separate episodes. And uh, that's pretty much it in regards to what I've got planned for the remainder of this episode. And you get to see how powerful these things really are in caves. Um, in the past, I did used to use Dimorphs for caves. And they pretty much wreck face. I think there's like only three caves where you can't use them in the island here. Um, so two of them being because they are water caves. And then one of them has some um, really nasty creatures which will just murder them right quick. Which is the um, artifact of the strong cave. They, they, they don't stand a chance there. So other than that you can use these things in any of the island caves and all you need really is a shield you just walk through wait for these things to murder everything and uh yeah that's pretty much it, it it's just as easy as can be uh the um artifact of the strong cave has really powerful creatures that do aoe damage so that would be the bears um i believe that the uh, Gigantopithecuses also do a bit of AoE damage and they hit pretty hard as well. These guys will have some decent HP I suppose because they've been bred and they'll be imprinted on and everything. Um, but um, as I said, yeah, they, they, they don't stand a chance there. Okay. Trying to get these guys moved out so they don't really snag onto each other. I uh, think that'll do. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of uh, time before I go into any cave, but do expect... Uh, to, to see a cave with the Baryonyx and these guys. And uh, I do want to grab a bunch of artifacts as well. So I'll be taking an otter with me as well. Alright, there we go. I think they're pretty decently spread out. So let's give them some more meat. Keep these guys alive. They are really difficult to interact with because they're so small they've got so tiny such tiny hitboxes there we go come on there we go and give you some more meat and we go now these aren't things that I'm going to be breeding for mutations at least I don't have that intention right now um, I am only planning on doing the Argentavises, Rexes, and Baryonyx at this moment in time, at least. There we go. And, yeah. So here we are, folks. We are at the first cave location. As you can see, I am surrounded by a cloud of Dimorphs. I've also brought my caving Baryonyx, which is going to be fun. Now, I've done this before. But uh, I want to come back in this cave because I personally want to get a few more artifacts. So I have got my otter with me. It's on my shoulder. And uh, so with that said, as you can see, we've got these folks right here. Really, in theory, I shouldn't need to do anything. Just have these guys on follow. Now, they might potentially snag on to... Uh, cave walls and stuff like that so it might be a bit fiddly at times of course I could have just done this with the Baryonyx um, having the Baryonyx and these bred Dimorphs well I think it's a bit overkill for this cave but uh, 
should be pretty fun. It should be a fairly easy ride for me. All I have to do is just walk in and let these guys do all the hard lifting for me. So they are following. I just realized I uh, shouldn't have whistled whilst I was on the um, on the Radio Nathia because I'm not following the Radio Nathia. And if I whistle uh, a follow command on the berry, everything including the Rhino Nathia will follow the berry onyx. Um, so I've kind of screwed myself over here. Uh, let me just see how I'm going to go about this. So we're just going to put them all on passive, have them all follow me. Disable you from following, wherever that is. Uh, let's find that option. No, no. No, oh god, this is a bit of annoying. <laughs> okay, disable following, so you can stay here. Now, I don't mind the baryonics following me because if I do get off the berry for any reason, I want it to be right close to me. So we'll just go with the berry into the cave. We're going to walk nice and slow, try and kind of keep a straight path with it so that the dimorphs kind of follow in a fairly straight line this is where the cave is located by the way just to kind of show you the location and you can see the little uh, marker for where my base is so really not that far from my base i'm looking back i don't see anything that has uh, apparently snagged onto the wall i do expect that to be a thing I'll let dimorphs catch up with me now there is a bit of a walk before we get into any uh fight so we do have to walk fairly deep into this cave before we meet any aggressive creatures. I'm just trying to keep a path that is as straight as possible here. Alright. Now, ideally, this should be extremely simple for me. Just because of all these guys that are ready to kill they are set on to attack my target just so uh, everybody knows as you can see some of these little uh bits of or sections of cave can get quite narrow okay making sure they're still behind me now i fully expect that maybe one or two dimorphs might be stuck in some cave walls uh like I said, I fully expect to lose one, two, three, or even even if I go back home with half of them, that's still a good number to have. There we go. Things like to pop out of the ground. I don't need to do anything. Dimorphs are just basically demolishing everything. <laughs> and all I need to do is just kind of walk to where I need to be. Still seem to have most of my dimorphs. There is a drop here, so I do want to have a look at it. I do always worry about things popping out the ground, as you can see, or as you saw before, better said. That is a thing in this game. Yeah, this game is sadly riddled by more bugs than the previous version of this game. I feel like, uh, I've encountered more bugs. One of them being that it kind of crashes and that is quite frequently. That was a nice level scorpion that, by the way. Sadly, it didn't really make it very far. And I am going to attack the Arthropleurus because, in honesty, I don't want the Arthropleurus to spit on me. They do do damage to my armor and that is something that I don't really want to happen. Okay. They've dealt with pretty much everything. <laughs> and I should be right close to the artifact itself. Let's deal with this Arthropleura. Get that dealt with. There we go. I didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> they are crazy powerful, I'm not going to lie. Like, Dimorphs are so massively underrated. They are definitely a viable caving creature to have. Now, if I was to do this without the Baryonyx, I would have had a right shield or a shield with good visibility. I would have just walked forward with my shield up, have these guys on attack my target and let them do all the killing. 
I just find it to be more um, cost effective really I don't use any ammo I don't lose anything and they do take good care of me as you can see they are all around me they're protecting me they're doing a really good job as well this is where I expect them to or a few of them to get stuck and we got some more arthroplorers there we go look how fast things get demolished so this is basically where the artifact was up there now the reason I've taken them that way is because I do want them to grab all the chitin for me this is the entrance into the artifact room if we can call it that oh yep 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here let them do the hard work let them off do the hard work first There we go. Nice and relaxed little cave stroll that we're having here. I think that might potentially be it. I don't see anything. I'm gonna have you. I can hear a spider, and that is not good. I was gonna try and get this baryonyx to wait here, but I can hear a spider somewhere. Where is it? Behavior. There we go. Barry can stay here. What? What was that? <laughs> Not sure what the Baryonyx wanted to do. Okay, let me just. What is it doing? Really? Are you happy now? Jeez, man. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, I've got a few of them follow me. It should be more than enough. Let me just get my stuff prepped. And, yeah, this is basically how I would do it. Okay, I've got a few following me, so that's fine. Let's aggro these guys. Is he coming towards me? Come on, hit me. Hit me. That's it, hit me. There you go. So this is basically how I would have done this cave if I didn't have the Baryonyx and only had the Dimorphs. Wait for this dude. There you go. And it's going to get demolished soon enough. There we go. That's pretty much it. And that is one artifact for us. And this is the artifact of the Hunter. So now I'm just going to have to wait here until we get another one to spawn, but that is pretty much it. It's just that simple. I have got my R on my shoulder, so um, from now on I guess i uh, just going to have a bit of a good old boring time waiting for the next one to spawn. Then I'll chuck the artifact that I've got onto the other. I think I want about three of each of the artifacts that I'm going for, um, just because why not? Um, in the meantime, I'm going to be checking the inventories of these guys, making sure they are not getting over encumbered, but also leveling up their health. So I do want them to have as much health and damage as possible. Health, of course, being the first priority. And then, you know, I think I'm going to get them to about maybe 2000 HP, uh, after which uh, maybe two to, I'd say two and a half thousand HP, and then we'll put some some damage on them okay well, I've got a few things we've got a bit of chitin so that would help I could definitely turn the chitin into cementing paste I feel like I had more dimorphs uh, maybe they're just out there waiting for me um can I get you cool All right uh, they've got enough food in their inventory to be able to heal up Let's see what's down this way. Alright, that's fine. Okay, cool. Well, that's pretty much it for this episode, folks. We're going to end it here. Um, I will be doing some more caves. I'm just going to do them as separate episodes as well. Uh, just because I'm going to double them as how to get the artifact as well. I figure I might as well shoot uh, 
two birds with one stone, I guess. Uh, I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button, share, comment, and subscribe. And of course, as always, until next time, stay safe, folks.